The first couple of years, things were going really splendidly, but he wasn't ready to commit. Ted didn't want to get married, even though I was bugging him all the time to commit to me. Every time it started to get weird with Ted, I convinced myself that the problem was me. I think it had a lot to do with self-esteem. So I was really perplexed about what was going on. Things were just plain weird because he was going to be moving away at the end of the summer. He had applied to the law school at the University of Utah and got accepted. And it was really unclear about whether we were going to move together or not. When I would say, what about me coming with you? He'd say, well, you can come if you want. And it was like so non-enthusiastic that I thought, oh, I don't want to. But I mean, I fell in love with him from day one. We had several good years where it was just really fun and intense and wonderful. And I, I think kind of like almost any addiction or any drug, you keep thinking of the first part of something and you think you can get back to that state. Whereas things started to change, but I still was hopeful that we would be in love like we were in the beginning. I was sad that we were losing him because I felt that we were. I mean, I felt that their relationship had not been as close. And I felt that our relationship had taken this really horrid turn. <sighs> I remember we were playing hide and go seek is how this started. He had hid under a blanket and I came out to the living room and I pulled the blanket off him and he's naked. And I say in shock, you're naked. And he says, well, yeah, that's because I can turn invisible, but my clothes can't and I didn't want you to see me. And I'm chewing on that but he's running back to the place you touch not to be it and i have to kind of just give up because i don't want to be it and i'm running and i'm thinking and it just devolved from there um but my charitable child explanation i wanted to give him was that he got carried away with the fun of the game that he always broke rules in these various ways and that this was just another way he just wasn't really like other grown-ups did you tell your mom no it wasn't until many years later that i told her i didn't want ted to get in trouble i didn't want him to have to go away i didn't want him to be banished which i'm sh i was sure that he would have been and i didn't want to see my mom hurt